his goals and everything in life was fixing to be really, really big. Now at 6, friends and family of a young man killed in Midland are speaking only to ABC Big 2 tonight. Our Rob Tuke joins us live in Odessa outside 432 Barbershop. And Rob, the victim just started working there. Well, that's right, Carson. Sammy Anaya III had only been working here less than a month. And on Saturday night, he was shot outside of a rap concert and later died. We're going to put, put his face right here so we can always remember him. Henry Carrasco is the owner of 432 Barbershop and Evelyn Tattoo. Outside the shop, a mural of Sammy Anaya III is in the works. It's expected to be done later this week. Sammy had just started working at the shop. Sammy was a young, talented little kid that was just fixing to come up in life, do a lot of things in life, had big plans for the future. Midland police say Sammy was shot and killed outside Kessler's Hall on Saturday night in Midland during a rap concert. Police say the suspect, 17-year-old Greg Barrera III, is on the run. And what happened to him was tragic, and nobody's ever, ever going to get over it. To paint a picture of who Sammy was, he was an artist, an up-and-coming rapper, but also a person who was polite and good to others. He was a guidance to a lot of people, even at a young age. Josh Brito works at 432 Barbershop. Ever since the day we met that kid, he was real respectful, man, really driven. He wanted to learn everything about the trade. Inside the barbershop, this memorial is in place. At Sammy's booth, his equipment is still there. And so are a dozen candles, each adorned with messages to Sammy. He wanted to uh, do better with everything that was going on around him, whether it was you know, his hobby or making music or here in his profession that he wanted to follow. He was willing to grow. He was a good kid. I couldn't have seen that happening to a man. It was a shock when I found out. Sammy's father, his namesake, showed up to the shop too. I asked him what he wanted people to remember his son by. He made it as a barber. I mean, he made it as a rapper. He, he was doing his thing. And if there is one thing that his colleagues and his father could say to him, it's this. There's one thing I could tell Sammy is that, you know, he was a great kid and I could see him going further in life. Pray over your family, man. They miss you a lot. They love you and they're hurting every day. And that I love him and I'm proud of him. And he went out a legend. He, he did his thing, and, I, and, and I'll see him soon. I'll catch up to him later. Now the family is hosting a fundraiser tomorrow in Midland, and they hope this will cover some of the funeral costs. Now, for a GoFundMe, we're sharing that link on yourbasin.com. Live in Odessa, I'm Rob Tuk, ABC Big 2 News. All right, thank you, Rob. You can read more about this shooting and how you can help out the family on yourbasin.com.